Hey, 30 at 6 John here, and today what we're going to be doing is reviewing how to shoot a pistol, some secrets and fundamentals. A lot of people shoot pistols, but they don't really know the basics and fundamentals of how to shoot a pistol. So we're going to review that. Also some uh, secrets and tips on how to improve your shooting. So uh, keep watching and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Well, the first thing we want to review is safety rules with the uh, recent Alec Baldwin shooting. Safety rules are paramount. I'm not gonna get into that incident, but let's review them. These safety rules are from Gunsight. Pretty universal these days. I remember when they weren't. Let's review them. Number one, all guns are always loaded. So when you pick up a gun, it's loaded. You're responsible for the status of that gun until you check it. This gun now is unloaded. So now if I want to dry fire it, I can. You put the gun down, even though you just checked it that it's unloaded, you pick it back up, you check it again. You don't assume that it's unloaded. Number two, never let the muzzle cover anything which you're not willing to destroy. Even though you make sure that's unloaded, you never want to cover anything or muzzle anything that you don't want to destroy. Rule number three, keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target. Keeping your finger off the trigger until sights are on target is more important with the uh, striker fired firearms like the Glocks. His Springfield XD, it is unloaded. If you don't keep your finger off the trigger, there's no external safety like a 1911 or the heavy trigger pull of a revolver to keep the gun safe. Number four, always be sure of your target. You're responsible for every time you pull the trigger and every bullet goes out your barrel. So you have to make sure that the bullet hits a, a safe um, impact area. We're going to be doing all dry fire practice. Now dry fire is very good because you can uh, practice your trigger squeeze and sign alignment and verify that your sights are moving off target. You really can't do that uh, using live fire ammo. Almost all guns uh, are safe to dry fire a lot. The only ones you really don't want to dry fire much are any type of rim fire. The firing pin will ping the uh, chamber. Or if you have a, a revolver that has an uh, exposed uh, firing pin, like an old Colt single action or older Smith & Wesson or a Freedom Arms revolver. So we're going to go through the fundamentals of... Um, pistol shooting here. We're going to go from the easiest to the hardest. And the easiest one is a stance. So your stance isn't too critical, but there's a couple of things you don't want to do. There's a lot of variations on stances. And then when you start practicing shooting and moving, the stance sort of becomes very irrelevant. But a couple of things I see people at the range all the time doing, which is really wrong is that they, they contort their legs. First off, you want your legs, uh, you don't want your knees locked. If you keep your knees locked, when you shoot a gun, when you shoot a gun, you keep your knees locked, the recoil, it, your, your body can't absorb that recoil. It just pushes you backwards. So you want your knees unlocked so, you could, so it could flex a little bit as shock absorbers. Next thing I see a lot of people doing is they're, they are leaning backwards a lot. You see them grabbing a gun and they're just way back here. So when they shoot a gun, it's just sort of giving a head start for recoil to push them backwards. You want to be standing straight up or just leaning into it a little bit. Also, your legs, your feet should be a comfortable position. Uh, they shouldn't be way up, way back. You just want something sort of a comfortable, natural position. The next thing to work on is sight picture. First thing you need to know is which is your dominant eye. You can shoot a handgun with uh, either eye, with your non-dominant eye, but if you know what eye is your uh, dominant eye, it makes e shooting a handgun a lot easier. Put both hands out, make a little circle there, middle of your hands. Then just bring it right up, keep watching it, and it'll go right to your dominant eye. That's the side that you should be shooting. Now when you're lining up your sights, what you want to make sure is that 
your front sight and rear sight are in a line and you put that either at a six a hole six o'clock hold on your target where you want to hit or right on i'm using a six o'clock hold in the example here the most important thing is to make sure that your front sight is in focus when you're looking down your uh, pistol you see your rear sight you see your front sight and you see the target the most important thing you need to do at that point uh, in lining up your sights is making sure that your front sight is in focus. Uh, when you're younger or have good eyes, you could probably get all three in focus or maybe just the target and the front sight or front sight and rear sight. But no matter what you do, you have to, you have to concentrate your focus on that front sight. The next thing to concentrate on is grip. You have to maintain a strong grip on your pistol. When you grip your handgun, let's make sure this is unloaded. It is. When you grip a handgun, you want it to be in the Y of your thumb and your forefinger here. You don't want to grip it sideways like this. That's wrong. You want to grip it like this. Get your fingers around the grip. Put your shooting finger outside along the rail there. Put your thumb. I like to put my thumb on top of the safety. If you don't have a safety, you could grip it like that. Support hand, just cup it right around here so you have a push-pull grip there. Some people like to put this shooting finger out here. That works too. Either way, here, here, you can put your thumbs straight out. You put them on top of the safety like that. Either way is good. You can practice both ways. Most shooters, competitive shooters, they put both thumbs straight out like this. You don't want to put your support thumb up here. Sooner or later when the slide comes back, it's just going to slice up your fingers. Now when it comes to grip for double action revolver, let's show you here on this uh, four inch Red Hawk. When you grip it with your strong hand, Make sure it's way up high on the recoil shoulder right here. Just grip it there, finger goes outside the trigger guard. Same thing, when you grab your support hand, cup it like here, you can put your thumbs out here. Some people like to put it out here along the, uh, in front of the trigger guard, that works on a double action revolver also. So no matter what grip you use, you always have to maintain a strong grip. There's no shooting instructor out there that will say that you need to hold a weak grip on your pistol. Uh, a lot of people have problems, what's called limp wristing, them not holding the gun uh, hard enough so that you get failure to feed uh, jams. All right, now we come to the most important and hardest thing to do about pistol shooting. That is trigger control. That is basically pulling the trigger without moving the pistol. It's simple to do, but it's not easy. And the real difference between an average pistol shot and an excellent pistol shot is trigger control. This is one reason why dry firing is so important. When you practice your dry fire, line up your sights, pull the trigger, gun doesn't move. You can't do that any other way. You can't do it with live fire. You can't do it with some laser pointer. You have to do it with your sights. Bring the gun up. Line up the sights, focus on the front sight, squeeze the trigger, gun doesn't move. Pretty easy to do, so the 1911, just cock the hammer back. You can do that. You don't even need a target. It's just practice uh, squeezing your trigger, not moving the gun. Making a trigger makes it a little more precise. That's one of the great secrets of pistol shooting right there. Revolvers, sort of the same thing. You have single action shooting, double action shooting. Gun should move. Now, double action shooting is a little bit tougher. Usually I like to put my finger in to the first joint right there. It is a lot tougher, takes more practice, but with some concentration.
no problem. For a striker fired handgun, like the Springfield Armory XD, same thing. Make sure it's unloaded. Grip it. Make sure it doesn't move. You have to rack the slide, can't pull the hammer back. Same thing. I will say that most striker fired handguns triggers are tougher to uh, master, but there's a lot of Glock, good Glock shooters out there, so it's certainly possible. If you want to dry fire at home, pick a safe spot to put up a small target. All you need is like a two inch, three inch orange dot. Make sure your firearm is safe and unloaded. Line up your front sight, squeeze it nice and easy, gun doesn't move. Good dry fire practice. So as the great Rob Lethem says, there's only three things to shooting a pistol. Hold the gun really tight, point the gun at the target, and pull the trigger without moving the gun. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Once again, everyone, please be safe when you're dry firing. Make sure your gun is unloaded especially right before you dry firing if you get interrupted please check to make sure that your firearm is unloaded again hope everyone enjoyed this video please uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already everyone stay safe have a nice day and uh, thanks for watching